All right, everyone, now it's time for some really happy news, which is that one of the several major problems identified by users of BitChute is now becoming a thing of the past because comment freely, which yours truly, I guess, inspired the name of. That was a long time ago. I actually had forgotten the conversation. I may have been a little bit inebriated at the time. Back then, uh, yeah, it was, it was a problem. But uh, the new commenting platform replacing Discuss has been deployed. There are still some problems with it. It, it obviously it needs a spit shining, but it's been developed. It had been sort of an on and off development thing, I think, for some time. But as long as Discuss was playing by its own rules and not trying to fuck over users of BitChute, it made sense to retain it as a stable platform. While you, you know, <laughs> there were bigger site issues to solve, like the loading time, the sporadic outages, <laughs> the glitches with loading, thumbnail problems. All those needed to be solved more desperately than developing a new commenting platform. And so what BitChute, I think, did was sort of bide its time and deal with the few problems that were there and discuss until it became impossible. Thankfully, it happened to coincide with BitChute raising enough money to get the, process, the, uh, the commenting platform done. So there's a link in the description. It's a referral link, of course. I think I've referred like 1,500 people to the site directly. I, I think that's pretty good. Does that make me top dog for referrals too? Somebody else should try to supplant me. Dude, larger users should pour onto the platform and try to usurp me as the first person to hit 100k. Just make the platform grow faster. I think I'm almost at 94,000 subscribers there. That's formidable. Not the sort of thing that you could do with like Vidme or the other older alternatives that existed. You should definitely join up. This was one of the big three. The big three things that people have complained about were the commenting platform, the lack of a stable app for, for people using smartphones, which unfortunately now is most of the population. I'm a, I'm a desktop boy. I love laptop computers. I like sitting here on the internet. I don't want to take the internet with me. It's just a surveillance that the government, China's spying on you when you have your phone out, even if you don't have TikTok, by the way, because uh, Zuckerberg loves to sell your personal information too. So does Sundar Pichai. And then the third one was search. Now, personally, I think search for, for a desktop user, search is the biggest thing. Because, I mean, the lack of an app didn't affect me. The commenting largely was stable. But I tend to be, I'm a creator as opposed to an interactor. I mainly make content. So I don't really use the commenting function there as much. But it is a big improvement. It's already more stable than Discuss was almost. Uh, and, and there is now, there's BitSlide. So there is a stable app. It's still, again, being tweaked. But it has gotten more stable than it was before. By the way, you should participate, uh, make sure, weigh in on, because I, I don't use, you know, BitChute on a smartphone, so I can't really weigh in on that. You should contact BitSlide, like they've got a, a Twitter handle as well, and you can sort of bandy back and forth with them, give them ideas and give them help, uh, material help potentially, if you're like tech literate, to try to develop a better app, and then the site will, you know, skyrocket. It's a race to the top, and it's a really fun one. Again, you got to get on this train, creators, uh, and stop just to, you say, well, I've got a, a BitChute channel, and you tell people once and then never use it again, and you just let it auto-load, well, <laughs> then may mainly you're a YouTuber who just happens to have a BitChute account. Consider yourself a creator first and foremost, and actually promulgate that content repeatedly. Cross-link everything. Because, like, BitChute obviously has become a threat, which is why Twitter and Facebook now uh, hide the links. Like, I don't even think you can message people BitChute links on Facebook. You can put them in a group. I don't have a problem with that. I, I seem to be able to put the exclusives there. I think that's title-based mainly, uh, any suppression. But certainly Twitter uh, hides it behind a potentially unsafe link uh, wall, so you have to click through. And, of course, it's way at the bottom, a little tiny type, ignore this and proceed anyway. It's like, whoa, this site might be dangerous. It might be a scam. It might be full of horrible, horrible things that little Jimmy's not allowed to see, so mama, make sure to block BitChute on his computer. <laughs> it's a bunch of fucking horseshit. They wouldn't be doing that unless it were a threat to the mainline. The mainline tech firms have coalesced together in, into a sort of, of monopolistic, a vertical monopoly system, and they're just trying to keep smaller upstart competitors from getting in on the game. Because those smaller upstart competitors, because by design they're not censoring, would destroy them. I am telling you right now that if BitChute manages to break through that wall of containment, it will destroy the current Silicon Valley status quo. I say that without hesitation, because the others will be fighting with an arm tied behind their back. As long as BitChute remains solvent and isn't completely nuked from orbit by the FBI or something, it will continue to win, because it's more interesting when content is not censored. On YouTube, you can get all the mainline content you want and very little edgy content. Didn't used to be that way. YouTube edgy content's what built YouTube. 
That's why these groups are coalescing together and working together to try to stop creators that help popularize all tech too. Why do you think they nuke people like Alex Jones? Why do you think Mall News not allowed on, on half the mainline platforms despite having largely tame content? There's a reason for that. Well, now he makes lots and lots of exclusive BitChute content in library too. But yeah, now that it's got a new commenting platform, that's one less thing than people can uh, complain about. That makes the site considerably better. And again, I have to take umbrage with people who say, well, it's Glitch City. Oh, it's got so many problems. YouTube at this point in its existence, only a few years old, was 10,000 times worse. The, the, do you remember the, the little loader that happened? Do you remember buffering? I do, because I was on YouTube back in the mid-2000s. Oh my goodness, yeah, you, you spend 10 minutes watching a three-minute uh, music video in, in uh, 360 from the 1980s. It was really great getting to watch all that old stuff, the nostalgia shit from before I was born, because I like watching Africa by Toto or Sweet Dreams by the Eurythmics. It, it was great at the time, let me tell you, but, you know, in my study hall at school, it was like 40 minutes long, I could only watch a couple of videos anyway because of the buffering time. Doesn't seem to be a problem on Bichu. People have gotten spoiled. I'm willing to deal with a few technical glitches and, and a few other, like the lack of 1080. I'm willing to deal with that to be on a platform that's not going to randomly fucking kick me off because I said something that some, some dumb fuck down the street thought was offensive. That's about all. Peace out.